All right, and off we go. Keith is with me here on this video, and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about the Oregon e-bike law. It has become final now. It's uh, signed in to law. And basically, we now have three classes for e-bikes in Oregon. And any rider under the age of 16 that does not have a permit or driver's license are not allowed to ride an electric bike on the road. And anyone 16 or over are permitted to ride class 1, 2, or 3. And class 3 is a new addition because up until now they only had a class 2. And if you're not familiar with the class levels, let me tell you what they are. So class 1 is an electric bike that has no throttle and has a maximum top speed of 20 miles per hour. And then you've got class two, which is the same 20 miles per hour, but that bike can have a throttle and it's up to you whether you want to throttle or pedal or do both. And then Class 3 is the new addition, and Class 3 is the level that has a throttle that cannot exceed 20 miles per hour. And if you want to go up to 28 miles per hour, which is the maximum speed for Class 3, you have to be pedaling. Uh, to get it to 28 miles per hour. So your throttle can only legally get you to 20 miles per hour. And that part of the law, to me, is kind of silly, but it is what it is. It's better than what we had before, in my opinion. I like it. And we'll see where it goes after this year. But that's what the laws are as of now. And so if your laws haven't been up, up, updated in your state, chances are it's probably going to happen sooner than later. I think it was 27 years uh, that law here in Oregon uh, since it uh, has been updated. So that's a long time. That's before I came here. So it's about time they updated it and we'll see what happens uh, down the road. And looks like this road has a speed limit of 25. And right now we're well under that. Riding along on the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser at about 17 miles per hour. Into a bit of a headwind here. Well, this bike uh, is nice and smooth and the uh, brakes are great. How's that running? Uh, running great. Tire we should show everyone that we've got a new tire here on the back of the Rad. That's the Rad Rover right there. Looks pretty easy or even. 
So after about 830 miles, the uh, tire had to be replaced. It was needing replaced for a bit. And the front tire is still fine. For now. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what, what happens with that one, how far we get, but usually it's gonna be, or always basically, it's gonna be the back tire that needs replaced because of all the weight of the rider and usually the motors in the back, all the, all the weight. So, how's it feeling for riding? That feels good, but uh, right now, I heard something start to rub. I'll check it out real fast. It sounds like the fender or something. On the front or the back? It sounds like the front. Oh, that sounds okay. Huh. So that seems a little bit fast to have to replace the tire. Don't you think 830 miles or so? That's... What assist level are you in? I'm on three. That's what I'm on. Those tires went out even faster, right? Yeah, less than 800 miles, 700 and something. I can't remember exactly how many, but yeah, they, the back tire was gone. And you know, those tires seem to be really thin. Like they weren't very, the That's greatest. A, I yeah. Too. You know, this one's half the weight. And then yeah. now you got the E Huntsman tires. And how many it, miles you got on now? Since you chased tires. I don't remember now. Do you remember what the total miles is? No. I gotta get back on the Grizzly again. So, with the new uh, law here in Oregon, of cl up to class three, this bike the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser that I'm on right now is is exactly uh, what the law is looking for in a legal bike <clears throat> because it's got the okay in Oregon the motor can't exceed a thousand watts right so this this has a 750 watt motor and then uh, it goes to 20 miles per hour with throttle and then shuts off at 20 or 20.5 or some something like that 21 and then uh, you can pedal it and get it up to 28. Well, that's exactly what the uh, new Oregon law looks like. So this bike is absolutely perfect. If somebody's looking for a 100% legal bike in uh, the state of Oregon, this bike here is, uh, is just that. And I gotta say, every time I bring this bike out, I love it even more and more. And I love using the throttle to get me started. And the comfortable ride for me on this bike is the level three. Gear eight, level three in the pedal assist. And you get up consistently in the 17, 18 miles per hour. And it's just a comfortable uh, ride. Okay, I think that guy's on the wrong side of the road and then we've got a dog issue here. The runaway dog. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
looks like today's walk your dog day. Yeah, I know, right? Or the dog take off dog day. I don't know. Right there. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, they're letting us go. Okay, well, we'll go a little more. We're going to go around. Let's turn right and go over just around the corner one more here. Maybe we'll see some more dogs. Yep. I hear your tires humming. I can feel the raindrops, but... Yeah, I can hear your wheels humming from behind there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, I can hear your tires humming. Let's turn here one and go around the corner and we'll be done. Uh, the motors on these bikes are pretty quiet, aren't they? Like this bike is nice and quiet. Oh yeah. The brakes. The brakes are good points. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, positioning is really nice on this bike. I like it. I'm liking this bike more every day. Like it's great. Smooth, like you get up to 17, 18 miles an hour, it just feels great. Just cruising along, you know. How does that bike feel? Is it about 17 or 18 where it feels pretty good? Is that what you find? You get up around? Uh, on flat ground, yeah. Yeah. But when you're talking about the hill, it, on uh, pedal assist three, you're probably doing about 12 to 13. Oh, so you might have to kick it up and about four. Yeah. Yeah, this one's definitely not as fast as that bike. I don't think you have to go more than two or three at all, right? And this bike has a fast takeoff on the throttle. Like, it helps you get started nice on the throttle. How's that one? Well, this one's just enough. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, it is smooth, yep. was a lot of fun that's going to do it for this video if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel just hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave that in the comments below 
once again thank you for joining me on this video thank you keith for coming along again new tire now on the uh rad power bike there i think it's all it's all good yep it's ready and to for rides. until next time keep your wheels on the road <laughs>